base 38 base 38 silver back handicap chase and chase all females too go cup distance near enough newsflash Marty Keynes Cirque Martin Leiden Tunisia Mark Cooper Cord Jonathan Alex Cherry Rivalzi Martin Keynes and Philly Eagle Mark Cooper just a six runners in two for Malik uh, two for Mark Cooper in the race and six runners and two for Marty Keynes orders are now for three miles two for the silver back and his chase weighted 0 to 100 and Friozzi is in the lead in the blue cap and both Martin, Martin Keynes also up front both the leads from Newsflash and some dodgy jumpers in this here fell on this reappearance Newsflash then shifted his rider Philly Hegel also fell on the second one. I jumped that one and a mistake by the leader for Ozzy. Leads. But only Jess from Tunisia. Philly Hegel on the other side. They jumped the next, jumping through. A good jump by George Jonathan. George called Jonathan. In second, Tunisia in third, news flash they passed us the in post. Um, two circuits in front of them. Long way to go then. And race a date pace. And Ferrazzi will make it just over a length. Hit a cord, Jonathan, and see how they jump this next fence. Oh, we lost one, and there, Philly Eagle. Uh, last time it's falling again today. Got the ground she like. She likes soft ground as well for the eagle. And then the other soft ground also in the race is Tunisia. So yeah, that he will have to rely on that one. Uh, they jump in that one. As they go downhill and they turn left handed. Sharp turn this one. Throws the leads. On Newsflash in second, called Jonathan Third, Tunisia and Cirque. Cirque has been around a long time. Dump the next one, they all jump that one. Um, for Aussie, so has a couple ends lead over Newsflash, Tunisia, and then called Jonathan, Cirque. That's in the five mini minutes, this is a ditch. Um, the Alex Cherry horse. Uh, Called Jonathan, he's looking for the better ground. He's come wider than the others for some reason. And the jockey must feel this better ground down this centre of the course. We're on the far side, Rosie leads by a couple ends. From Cole Johnson down the centre, jump this and he jumped the right, Cole Johnson. He's just in the bit, just about to see him in the screen. And the cameraman has now pulled the camera out wider. Eye on him. Perhaps he's pulling himself to the right, hanging right. Rosie leads by a couple of lengths from Court Jonathan to Nija. I do back on the far side on the rails. Just hit a cirque and these flashes. Gonna make it a late run for home, I think. He's gonna leave his challenge to us. I know Court Jonathan's come back to the others. For the jockey. It must have been looking for the gun again, he's pulled wide again. Uh, perhaps it's something in the old legs to go. Probably needs a right hand trap, maybe, I do not know. Frosty leads. There seems to be choice of the horse to come wide, I think. Cirque has made gun into third. And the silver back. Rosie leads by a couple of lengths from Cord Jonathan, Cirque, Tunisia, Newsflash. In that order. Going to one fence now, past the, start, past the winning post, and people just have to head downhill to the one on the bend, and downhill. That's a tricky fence, that one. Cover this one, and five remaining ones over. And maybe frosty has been joined, it looks like he's been passed by Cord Jonathan again. This horse is going wider than the rest, but 
Um, I wonder if he has a right hand bias again. He's now coming back towards him again, and yes, he's joined the one on the front, uh, front of yesterday. He's got to jump that one. Watch this every swing left handed, what this horse does called, John, called Jonathan. Uh, he stays there, oh, it comes down the centre of the course. He's staying there at the moment. Uh, pass a little group of people out in the countryside. Uh, they jump the next. And uh, so we find it for us. He's trying to make all so far. We call Jonathan, he seems to be going well in in second, although he's been wearing, giving some them so away again, he's coming up towards the right again. Um, Near flash has moved into third. Walker to this sick. Perhaps all the ages getting to him and he's not showing much enthusiasm today. As he head inside the five furlongs and throughout he leads by a couple of lens. He's a 13 year old himself for Ozzy, so he's from quite an old age here. In his Hunter's Chase, New Slash is in second, and then the baby, Denisha, in third at five years of age, and then comes Cool Jonathan, who's 10 himself, that's his New Slash, but it's still the 13 year old, takes him along for Ozzy, being pressed now by his stable companion, New Slash, Denisha back in third, fourth is Cool Jonathan Cirque. Oh, only nine. We well, just yeah, struggled on this. Maybe the ground. Uh, well, that one down towards the final fence. News flash leads by over the limp. Tunisia's the danger to him in second. I know Coach Jonathan is trying to pick up again. He played all the last. And on the short one, he runs off. News flash has it in his hands. He's going to go on a win here by about a limp and a half. Tunisia can't get to him in second. In third is Coach Jonathan or Ferrazzi. And uh, he was a uh, off day for Cirque back in fifth. No doubt about the winner though. Matty Keynes, Matty Keynes and Newsflash has come on at the age of 10. Beat Tunisia in second. Good job Jonathan back in third. Fourth was Ferrazzi and Sirk. Philly Eagle, the one that didn't finish.